Hey guys, if you are on my YouTube channel, uh, Florida 400 World or Crerico Classic, you guys saw that I attempted, and I'm still trying, to put a rack and pinion to work with the twin eye beams. It's sort of a big thing, and everyone's like, hey, if you figure it out, let me know. I plan on redoing it after I moved into my garage. I found someone here at the show that actually did it, and I want to know how. Let me show you his truck real quick, and then I'll, I'll introduce you to him. I'll post some pictures up of the what you know some pictures of rough pictures of what we or what he did and uh yeah so here he is right here come here i'm gonna drag you over here bring yes, him sir. here yes, lean, lean against your truck uh what's your what's your name my man wink english and uh you kind of you, i don't know we ran into each other and you said did you figure that out yep and i said no i kind of you know waiting or whatever and you said i figured it out and you told me about it now real quick what did you have to do to get the rack and pinion to work underneath the when i do well, my buddy told me I knew I, I knew I needed a rear steer. My buddy, yeah. my engine builder, Brian Matthews, told me that uh, Cavalier used to put a rear steer rack and also a Mustang. Yeah. But, but the, I got a Cavalier. I think it's a '92 Cavalier rear steer mm -hmm. rack. And um, of course, I took the, the big honking main unit out and I used the original bolt holes and fabricated a bracket okay. that I could hang it or, or the left side of it and the, um, the single and the double and another single joint. Okay. And um, held on to the other side and, and it's, a, uh, it's a center steer. So the rack has a, a center pivot point. So it's got longer arms. It, it, it worked. It's, it's tight. It, it was, you gotta be close because it's, uh, it's only a 14 inch turn. Okay. It's almost 90 degrees. It works. That's cool. So, what? What? Like, I had trouble with bump steer. Yep. So, what did? What did, in part of what you just mentioned actually, uh, you know, fix the bump steer? I'll, I'll give a, a picture of the engine here while while we talk. What? Uh, what eliminated the possible bump steer? Well, it was the like I said, it's a center steer rack. So the the arms, they're almost dead parallel. Okay. And the truck doesn't move that much from center. And I wish you could get up under there and see exactly yeah. how it's positioned. But um, there's there's very little there's very little um, like pivot or whatever movement in the pivot. Yeah, yeah. there's very little movement. How, how does she handle? Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, do you have a sway bar I, I, on it? I need a. I almost wanted to get it like a flaming river, uh, 90 degree. They got a 90 degree turn. Yeah. Uh, device. I forget what it's called. But um, it works. It works. It works nice. So uh, it drives nice. Does it have a front sway bar? No, not yet. Not I did yet. That, did, I did, did, you, on. did you go Adco or? Yes. Okay. Very. Uh, that's what I'm running on a non rack and pinion. Uh, okay. That's what I do. Right. I've got it. And I haven't put it on yet. That's cool. So uh, we, we talked earlier, and he is going to send me some pictures at least yes. of the process, I'll and wait. I would love to put them together if you let me into a video. And I'm going to have you just just write out what all you did in, in pretty good detail. Okay. Give you the credit for it, and I would like to share what you learned on what people had to do, maybe some part numbers, and just make a video about it and get it out there. That'll work. Does that, that, does that sound good? No problem. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, is there a place where people can see the truck or anything like that? Do you have like an Instagram or Facebook? or? I'll get, I'll get it to you. Okay. Guys, we'll be posting on Ford F100 World all over the socials, Instagram, uh, TikTok, all of that. I'm going to try to really get this out there because there's those of us that really, really love the, you know, uh, Crown Vic or the Mustang 2 or whatever the in-between thing that they have. But a lot of us love these twin eye beams, and they are independent if you really think about it. They were great on the farms. We're trying to make them great on the street. So I'm going to try to get this information out there. Guys, subscribe. Hit that like button. Be sure to follow wherever you guys are watching this at. And, yeah, and uh, let's let's see if we can uh, see if we can get this, like, out there so people can start doing it. What do you think? All right, cool. Well, hey, man, thank you so much. I really thank appreciate you. you. Have a good one. All right, man. All right. Later.